Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at exponential growth. In particular, I want to look at the problem four zombies invade New York City and infect people at a rate that can be modeled by the equation Z equals A times 2.6 to the 0.6 T power where we have Z is equal to the final number of zombies, A is equal to the initial number of zombies, and T is equal to the time in hours. And now we're trying to find in how many hours will the zombie population reach 10,000. But before we begin tackling this part of the problem, let's try to get a feel for what's going on. We have these four zombies, they're in New York City, so at time equals zero, the initial conditions are that there are four zombies. So the initial number of zombies is equal to four. So at time zero, we have four zombies. And we could quickly check these values that they do in fact satisfy this equation. But let's go ahead and just take a look at time equals one since they told us that there are four zombies at the start of this problem. So at time equals one, the question is how many zombies are there? Well, the total number of zombies or the final number, Z, at time equals one is equal to A times, so A in this case is going to be four. So we have four and now times 2.6 to the 0 0.6 times t, but t in this case, we're looking at one hour. So after one hour, how many zombies are there? Well, for this part of the problem, we will definitely need a calculator. So we're looking at 2.6 to the 0 0.6 times one, or the 0 0.6 power. And now we're multiplying this by four. And I'm gonna go ahead and round to the nearest thousandths place. And we would have that there are seven point zero nine six and now when you get a decimal the way I would interpret it in the context of this problem there are seven full zombies after one hour and the eighth guy is definitely bit by now and he is point zero nine six of the way towards becoming a full zombie so he's in the process of turning so now we're looking at let's say time equals two I want to investigate one more example or one more trial of how many zombies there are after two hours well, the total number of zombies after two hours, we would look at Z equals A, which is the initial number of zombies. So we have Z equals 4 times 2.6 to the 0 0.6 times T. But T in this case, we're looking at T equals two hours. So we have 0 0.6 times 2. And now when we evaluate this, 0 0.6 times 2 is 1.2. So we're looking at 2.6 to the 1.2 times 4. And this tells us, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off at the hundredths place because we have 12.59006, so I'll stop at the hundredths place. And at 2 hours, we will be at 12.59 zombies. So we have 12 full zombies and the 13th zombie was bit and he's more than halfway through the turning process. So now let's compare these results to get a feel for what's going on in this problem. At time equals zero, we were looking at four zombies. At time equals one, we found out that there were 7.096 zombies. And finally, at time equals two, we were looking at the number of zombies equal to, we had 12.59, which I'm gonna estimate just to more for illustration what's going on. Well, after the first hour, there were four zombies and now there are seven. This is like roughly a increase of three zombies in that hour. Keeping in mind 7.096 minus four would be roughly equal to three. So three new zombies were made in the first hour, but then if we did, on the way I would estimate this, even like 12.6 minus seven, we could do that or we could do 12.5 minus seven. We would have roughly five and a half new zombies from the first hour to the second hour. So by subtracting these values, we could get a feel for, well, in the first hour, three new zombies were made, and in the second hour, five and a half new zombies were made. So we can tell right away that this rate of change is increasing from one hour to the next. So now we're looking at this problem and how many hours we're looking for the variable T. How many hours will the zombie population reach 10,000? So the final number of zombies, when this reaches 10,000, how much time will have passed? We're looking for time, but we know, well, what do we know? Z, 
is equal to a times 2.6 to the 0.6 t. We know a is never going to change. This is the initial number of zombies. There were four zombies walking into New York City. And we have 2.6 to the 0.6 times t. Keeping in mind, we're looking for the variable t. How many hours? And now, in algebra, to solve for a variable that is in the exponent, we're going to need logarithms. But before we take the log of both sides, let's simplify as much as we can first. I would always advise to simplify before using that log function. So, for instance, to simplify this equation here, I would divide both sides by 4 so that we're left with simply this exponential term on the right. And we have 10,000 divided by 4 is 2,500. So we have 2,500 equals 2.6 so we have 2.6 to the 0.6t. So now to solve for t, the variable in the exponent, we could go ahead and take the log of both sides. So we have log of 2,500. This is equal to the log of 2.6 to the, and I'll put parentheses for this, 0.6 times t. And we could go ahead and put parentheses here too. So now, to solve for this missing variable t, we are, we are going to use the exponent property of log. So when we have log, for instance, we have log of a to the b power, using this property of logs, we could rewrite this as b times log of a. So we're going to do this for the next line. Keeping in mind, though, that the exponent is 0.6 times t. So we could bring this exponent in front of the log. So on the next line, we would have log of 2,500 is equal to 0 0.6 times t times log of, and now what remains inside of the log? The base. So 2.6 is going to stay behind. So we have log of 2.6. So now in order to solve for t, we need, to we need to divide both sides by 0 0.6, and we need to divide by log of 2.6. So we're going to do the same thing on the left hand side. We have 0 0.6 and we have log of 2.6. And now the reason we want to do this is because on the right hand side 0 0.6 is going to cancel out with 0 0.6 and we have log of 2.6 is going to cancel out with log of 2.6. And on the right hand side all we are left with now we have t equals. And now how could we evaluate t? If you were doing this on your calculator all in one step, I would advise to put an extra pair of parentheses here. So we have open parentheses, log of 2,500, close parentheses, and another close parentheses, then divided by, and I would do open parentheses, and then you could, you could even put this in parentheses, 0 0.6 times log of 2.6, close the log parentheses, and then put another closed parentheses because the calculator will sometimes misread it if you don't put extra pairs of parentheses. But now when we evaluate this, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We arrive at, let's see, so we got log of 2,500 divided by 0.6, now divided by log of 2.6. And we get, I'm going to go ahead and write the final answer. We have that time is equal to 13 Point six four, and I'll write a few digits after, 7, 2, 2, and I'll stop here. And let's go ahead and just round to the nearest hundredth. So we're looking at 13.64, and this 7 would tell us to round to 13.65. So the number of hours that it'll take for the zombie population to reach 10,000 zombies would be 13.65 hours. But if we wanted to even get a more accurate feel, what is 0.65 of an hour? Well, 0.65 of an hour, we would do 0.65 times 60, tells us that if we were looking for exact time, the time would equal 13 hours and 39 minutes. Keeping in mind, after rounding off, we could do 0.65 times 60 to get that 39 minutes. But now, if this were a test, it's always a good idea once you find your time, I would go ahead and plug in the unsimplified time, like the long repeating decimal. I would go ahead and look at time equals 
13.64722 and plug that into the equation. And we'll do that really fast. We have the number of zombies equals, and we have A is 4, 2.6 to the 0 0.6 times, and we have 13.64722. And when you plug this in, oh, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and close this parentheses here. So we have Z equals 4 times 2.6 to the 0 0.6 times 13.64722. And when we do that, Let's see what we get. We got 13.64722 times 0.6. And we're going to raise 2.6 to that power. So we're going to raise 2.6 to roughly the 8.188332. And when we evaluate that, we have z equals 4 times. And because I didn't use all of the decimal places, we have 24... 99.997 and I'll stop it here and it should be obvious four times this is basically 2500 four times 2500 would give us that 10,000 zombies we were trying to find so once again this answer checks this way so we're looking at a time of 13.65 hours if we round to the nearest hundredth or 13 hours and 39 minutes Okay, well this is going to conclude this zombie problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.